This episode of Food Mob is brought to you by Squarespace and Gamefly. Hey guys and welcome to episode 19 of Food Mob. Manchester United all the way today. Any Liverpool fans tuning in, we don't want you. Go. No, we're only messing. Uh, anybody can watch. Hello to Aaron. Tom is back. And Lauren. They're mute. They're on mute today. <laughs> Switch their volume off. We're going to jump straight in. What are we cooking actually? We're cooking a stir fry. Everybody's always asking for something that they can cook in 10 minutes uh, when they get home from work. This is it. We're going to do a stopwatch today and see if we can actually cook it without editing in 10 minutes. Jumping into the photos from last week, chicken parma. I'm not going to go through them all because there's so many. I've never seen more photos yeah, than chicken parma. Did you notice? All over the place. I think people, uh, people like chicken parma. Um, tons of them. So I've just got five or six there. Whiz through them, Aaron. There's ones with like really nicely done, some not so nicely done, but mostly pretty good. Um, people send in funny still photos. That's more of a, a trend, Great. shall we say at the moment. That, I don't think that one's as good as the last one. The last <laughs> one, it's yeah, a bit. No, the other one was probably the best. There's another one as well, you might not have seen it. Um, yeah, that one's quite good. <laughs> <laughs> and then one more uh, is of, I can't remember, yes. I don't know what they've done there, some sort of silhouette, is it? Have you seen that? Oh no, that's from the show, you didn't watch the show. What show? That's the time lapse. Oh, did you do that? Yeah, that was when you went into the future. Shows you how much I uh, <laughs> tune into the show. Uh, I put something called FOS, French onion soup. Really nice. Uh, so that is sent in by Tori Burnt. He sends in quite a few photos, I think. And one last one on Flickr, which is a chicken parma with the food mob in the background. Looks up, oh, I could kill one of those right now. You could kill one of those right now. As in, eat one. Good. Um, and then, having a little bit of fun there on the Food Mob page, um, I don't know how it started, we were talking about um, funny food puns, we were doing That's Your Lot. That's what we needed for the show. What was funny your one? Funny food puns. Funny food puns. That's Your Lot is my one. What was your one last, you had another one? I didn't have one. You had one that time, it was like mushroom or something? There's not mushroom in here. Oh, that's terrible. I like, I like that. <laughs> that's better than the shallot one. Yeah. Tom, what about you? Any, any good ones? Nothing. Nothing. Thanks uh, for that contribution. Cheers, <laughs> I just asked on Facebook there, on our Food Mob page, facebook.com forward slash Food Mob. Um, some quite good ones, actually. The aluminium foiled my pans. Plans? Yeah, if you got it right, it was good. <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is good. I'm going to get this one right. What happened to the pretzel when it crossed the road? Yeah. It got assaulted. <laughs> I thought that was good, yeah, no? That's like the peanut one. Uh, I decided that becoming a vegetarian was a mistake. Pretty bad. Uh, now you have to make clam chowder just so as you can make that pun. Yeah, thanks, uh, Dennis. <laughs> 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 These are all people suggesting puns. The evil onion had many layers. Um, what do you call a nosy pepper? Uh, no. Jalapeno business? Jalapeno what? business? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you call a nosy pepper? <laughs> jalapeno business. Oh, all up in your business. No. What? Jalapeno. Are we going jalapeno peppers? Yeah. That is, you're going to have to explain that one to us, uh, Caleb. One more. So it shows you that I haven't actually prepared these. They're pretty bad. Um, okay. Caleb is back with another one. What do you call a pig that does karate? Oh my God. A pork chop. That's good. Yeah. That's Do you like that? One. No. All right, that's the last one. We don't want to hear any more food puns. Come okay, on. so that's it for food puns. We are straight into the actual food. Find the um, Heston Blumen tab book while we're talking. Is oh, it still there? That is the longest running competition <laughs> in the history. Tom is modeling our, oh, Lauren is, is modeling. Yeah, you want Tom all <laughs> you want. The beautiful, um, <laughs> wow. Basically, to win that book, you have to, to what do you have to do? Oh, you we just have to get the fans up to 5,000. 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, and somebody will win that. We're only, I think, 400 away. We are now the 65th biggest show in Ireland. Really? 
Yes. Really? That's We're ahead show. of Westlife lyrics. No way. Past Westlife lyrics today. Whoever's writing their Westlife lyrics is screwed. Right, Aaron, timer. You, okay. Have you started it? Uh, yeah. Can you do a timer on the screen? Uh, yeah, you can, you can. Right, basically I wanted to show you something that's ready in 10 minutes. That You know the way when you come home in the evening and you just cannot be arsed cooking anything. What, what's your go-to dish? Oh, I think this is Pine the exact dish. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, we'll get into that in a second. Um, what, what's your one dish? Is this it? Something yeah, like this? Yeah, and just pesto and pasta. Tom? Omelette. Omelette in the evening? Really? Quick. Just omelette? Yeah. No chips? No, I'd really. go on omelette and chips, but omelette on its own, I'd be, I wouldn't be satisfied. Lauren? Mm, some sort of tomato pasta type thing? Pasta, probably. Pasta. Hmm. Uh, mine would be this, ready in less than 10 minutes. So first thing I'm doing is I'm slicing up some ginger. Literally all cooked in one pot. You don't want any mess during the week. Who wants to fucking clean up their kitchens during the week? Okay, lots of oil in there. Um, big news from Lauren's garden. Big news. Hot out of the garden today, freshly grown. Nice, yeah. Taste in there. Have a have a little taste test while I. Fucking yeah. disgusting. <laughs> it's amazing. It's delicious. Right, chili done. Ginger done. Keeping it very very simple. Did you leave uh, the seeds in the pepper? Because I missed all that. Sorry. Did you leave the seeds in? The uh, I left the seeds in. A little bit of ginger. Um, I'm prepping all my vegetables first. How am I doing on time? Tom, you're the timekeeper. Um, so probably, well. probably a minute gone. So no editing this week. Now my little uh, sugar snap peas, I'm cutting them at an angle. See what I'm doing there? Oh, beautiful. beautiful. All right, whizzing through those like that. All right, very precise, very scientific. All right, pull that back. Oil smoking hot, which is exactly what you're looking for um, in a stir fry. It wants to be cooked fast. You're not hanging around. Um, just real, real fast. Great. What else is happening this week? Anything? Oh, big drama on the Facebook page with Aaron. Big drama. I was out uh, yesterday and I missed it and came back and it uh, would it be safe to say there was an explosion of controversy. That's one way of putting it. Um, Aaron put up a picture of a dish, sim not too dissimilar Pretty to this. Pretty much the exact same dish that you were using that, big pork. That he'd cooked chili. at home. So putting up his photo saying, look, if, if Niall's ever away, I've got it covered. Uh, I can basically say he can step in, yeah. which is cool. So a couple of people started commenting. And how did it exactly kick off? Well, one guy, he's a nice guy, and he's always sending us a lot of stuff for the show, said that it looked terrible. And to be honest, it doesn't look exactly the most appetizing no, it, meal. It looks rough. But rough. it's like, who makes food preparation? No. Well, maybe you, because you're a chef, but who prepares food to make it look time, amazing? But... Well, what, what are you doing? Go. Uh, just let me do this as you explain, right? Okay. Ginger and chili in there. Keep it moving. You've only got 30 seconds, right? In those 30 seconds, tell us the rest of the story. Anyway, so uh, he was saying it was a bad, bad recipe or whatever. Um, I thought it was pretty good. And then a lot of people jumped to my defense and said it looked really good. And uh, that's it really. But it was a huge thing. Loads of comments. Lots of likes. Check it out there. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash food mob. Should be in there and um, go in and give Aaron some abuse. That's pretty no, much what happens if, there. If they like it, give me some love. You're really the bad guy, aren't you? I'm like never the, the bad guy. Here, I never got any fan photos either. What, from ladies? Yeah, oh dear. So Send in, now. if you're a lady or a man and would like to um, appeal to Aaron. Someone, there was, someone said something. There was, they didn't send a photo, but they said they liked you yeah, and they liked scruffy guys. Yeah, yeah I everyone. saw that somewhere. Just yeah, let me now, yeah, Noel now grows a beard as well, just to get in on that audience. Scruffiness. <laughs> let me tell you what I'm doing here real quickly. So I've got some pork fillet here, which is an incredibly tender, quick cooking meat. Slicing it up very thinly. You could make this dish with chicken, pork, beef. Uh, these porks, uh, very, very nice. Sorry, I'm trying to do a lot of things here. Yeah. Ginger, uh, chili, sky cam, is it on? Yeah. Always. In that goes, no, straight in with my pork, right? Very important, lose the chopping board, wash your hands. I'd say we're on what, four minutes? Uh, More? Five then. Okay, well, no need to panic. That's what I want. Can't beat a bit of jeopardy and drama in the show. Oh, absolutely. 
Right, so what you want to do at this stage is get some beautiful colour onto those. <coughs> Anything else happening this week? Lauren's garden. How did I went to Premier? You guys went to the premiere. Uh, Scott Pilgrim versus Rod, and we met Michael Sierra and a few others. Jason Swartzman, he's good. Edgar Wright. And Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick? Oh, yeah, from pretty awesome. Awesome, yeah. Was the movie good? It was very good, yeah. Very different. One for the um, comic book piece, but I liked it as well. Yeah, it was. Great. Okay, just jumping back, crucial stage. Starting to take on some colour there. Believe it or not, that pork is actually nearly cooked. In go my veggies that I've prepped. Not doing any, um, whoa, oh, oh, just skip. I don't, <coughs> the key is, how much of a pain in the ass is washing up? Oh. Hate it. Hate it. Like that is getting wrapped up, going back in the fridge in a second. I wanted to show you that there's no washing up apart from the chopping board. How many people does this serve? That doesn't look like a big portion. Shit. Forgot the garlic, panic knot. Flip the chopping board over. Wash the knife. Now, in the 10 minutes, we're also going to show you how to peel garlic. How do you, how do you peel? What are you laughing at? Look, it's peeled already. Nice. One clean movement, peel it off. You're meant to put the garlic in at the start, but it doesn't matter if you put it in at this stage. Tons of flavor, right? In that goes. We are flying today. Push that, push that forward, will you? Sorry? I know it's getting quite hot, but put it forward. Now, look at those lovely flavors. Push it forward. Could, really. Put what forward? A little bit forward. Yeah, just one again. Get as much as you can. Killing me here, I'm on a deadline. Yeah. Right, now, a couple more things that I'm going to chuck in there. Yeah, cashew nuts. Left, Who likes cashew nuts? Love them. Yeah. All of them. Oh, you want some? These could go everywhere. Oh, I've got... Right, loads of flavor. Basically, yeah. now what I have, the last thing that I have is, oh, dude, no. I love how it's at the crucial stage, Aaron's got his camera in a packet of cashew nuts. <laughs> right, the crucial He's part? like, oh, just give me one there, will you? With the camera. Crucial part is the noodles. These are, oh, hold, hold. oh the bear, yeah, obviously. Way more important. Straight to wok noodles, which you can get in all supermarkets at the moment. They break. Awesome. They'll break up as we go along. I probably have a uh, spare minute to have a beer, actually. Okay. Can I pass me a beer now? Yeah. Just want to demonstrate how easy this is and how um, you really don't need more than 10 minutes. Do you guys always end up saying, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll just get takeaway? No? It's something like, yeah. Uh, I don't know why you would when you can do something like this. It's annoying, you have to go to the shops and buy the food. Yeah, but and you know, like I always, I, you know, every time I go to shops, I always buy one of those packs with the munch too and the sweet corn and everything. Yeah. Yeah. They and come in the I'll have it like twice and that's it then. Yeah. Right. Now, all we're doing is getting a bit of heat in there. What I want to do to help those noodles along is get some uh, liquids in there. So, soy sauce, generous. You don't need to put too much salt into this because soy sauce naturally. Soy salt, soy sauce is naturally quite uh, salty. A little bit of fish sauce, and finish it off with sesame oil. Now, what's liquid aminos? What's that oil? Liquid what? Aminos. I, I forget what it's called. Don't know what you're talking about. Liquid aminos. Yeah, it's called aminos. It's kind of like a sesame oil kind of thing. I don't know. I'll have to show it to you. It's really good. Lauren, I need some. Have you got anything green in your garden? No. Okay. Don't worry about it. She just doesn't want to get up. Yeah, uh, no. they all die. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. I think. I think you've literally. I, don't, I can't even guess how much time you have left, but I'd say it's about 30 seconds. Well, if it's over the 10 minutes, it's basically because I've been. You've got a minute and a half left. For sure? Yeah. I no, could have done but it you start, You know, you started like a minute after. No? I started a minute late and he's on 7 30. Oh, really? Yeah. Pretty impressive. Right, it's never going to win any um, awards. Just like I, mine. <laughs> I promise you that it is Better very, very tasty. And that's just a perfect sort of thing that you can have in the evening. It's actually relatively healthy. 
just noodles in there, a bit of carbs. Um, you've got your pork, your vegetables. You've got, uh, what else have you got in there? Uh, vegetables, pork, nuts. Aaron does like nuts. I love nuts. Um, no, that is pretty much it. If you want to get stuck in. I'll give you three, I'll give you three uh, forks. <laughs> No, what's it like? Tasty? It's got a bit of a kick to it, eh? Now, as Aaron stuffs his big fat face full of that, I'm gonna tell you about our first sponsor this week, which is Squarespace. So Squarespace is a publishing system for anyone looking to build a blog, portfolio, or any type of website. With blog tools that allow for iPhone updating on the go, hassle-free importing of sites from other environments, robust stats, and much more, Squarespace makes it super easy for anyone to build out and maintain a site. Could not be easier. Have you used Squarespace before? Tom, your Man United blog should be using Squarespace. So we, you know the way on blogs you need some sort of knowledge and you've done it, Aaron, in the past, mm. where and you kind of need a bit of code. And Squarespace is literally like, I want that picture down there. I want that text. It's so easy. Very, very impressive. You have to pay a small amount for sort of the upper packages. But if you go to squarespace.com forward slash foodmob, use the code at foodmob, Surprisingly enough, uh, you can get tons of tons of discounts there. So great way, no excuse not to go and start your site. Um, what are we doing next? We are doing dressings. Now, dressing. How if you you probably don't have salad because it's probably too girly for you. I don't like salads. No. Tom, salad. Would you ever have a salad with yeah. your omelet? Love my salads these days. Yeah. Uh, dressing. Yeah. What would you go for? I'd go for balsamic, olive oil, salt, pepper, and a bit of whole grain mustard. All sort of mixed together? All mixed together. In okay. cup. I'm going to show you how to make a very simple dressing that is just mind-blowingly good, right? So this stuff here, whole grain mustard. Spoonful, just like that. Nice big spoonful, plop it in there. And you want to make it enough for uh, a few goes. You don't want to be making dressing each time. You probably make it each time, do you? Yeah. You want to just make it in advance. Little squeeze of honey in there, sweetens it up. Yeah, honey, who doesn't like honey here? I hate you honey. hate honey, do you? Not mad on honey. The smell of it makes me just stutter. Really? <laughs> I could like literally. <laughs> That's gonna be a still next week. Next week. Yeah. <laughs> I could drink the stuff I was gonna say. Oh, oh, so good. By the way, in case anybody's worrying that that's disgusting or anything, I'm the only person who eats out of that. Right, anyway. Um, my granddad used to actually eat honey when I was small and he used to give me a spoon of it and then he died and then it's like, kind of like, you're like, oh. He was like, it's good for you. I don't think it is, is it? It's not that But he was like, a spoonful of honey a day. Is it fancy honey? No. Right, now, so you saw what I did there, uh, whole grain mustard, a little bit of a balsamic vinegar. Now the rule for dressings is a third um, vinegar, so not just a balsamic dressing, but any sort of dressing. Third vinegar, two thirds olive oil. You remember that or not? Have Yet. Um, give that a little wipe. Right, so that's your sort of base mixture, right? If you want to leave the honey out, by all means do. If you want to make this more advanced and add some parsley, some coriander, some little thyme leaves, some, you know, you can extend it, some nuts, maybe a little chopped, um, whatever sort of nuts you want, perfect. Now the dressing that you make, Tom, I'm guessing it's always split, is it? So there's always like olive oil and then vinegar, like it kind of separates. Yeah, it definitely right? does, yeah. So this is how you make a dressing um, where it all sort of stays as one mixture, if you know what I mean. You see how slow that oil is going in. Can you see that, Aaron? What's this cam called here, by the way? Baby cam. Baby cam. Show the show the people baby cam. It's pretty much the same camera. A uh, sky cam. <laughs> so yeah, you're pouring it in in a super slow stream like that. Oliver. Yeah. He has a dressing maker and it's this gadget that you buy and it's literally just a pot with a ball in it and you shake it. And it's really? like 40. Yeah, and it costs like, yeah, 40 quid or something. Yeah. It's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Yeah. It is, isn't it? Now, you see there, kind of, have a look at that texture. See, can you guys see from there? See, it's 
See the way it's like a little bit thick, gloopy? It's like sad sad. Yeah, maybe not what you're looking for from a dressing. A lot of people think this might be wrong, but all you do is a little drizzle of water, and that just sort of lightens up the texture and makes it into what I would consider a really nice dressing. Taste that there, guys. Just with my finger? Yeah. Lovely little dressing. No, exactly. It's just a little bit of background sweetness. All I would do there is season it up with a little bit of salt and pepper. Now, riveting. something very exciting on this. What did you say? Riveting stuff there. What? Just because you don't like salads, the, the world doesn't deserve to know about... The world does not deserve to know. Dressings. Two minute dressings. Everything's about speed today. So look, I'd make that in advance. I'd pop it. Do you know what's a really good tip? If you're, you know the way when you're running down on mustard and it's like you're scraping around the edges? Mm -hmm. Make the dressing in there and shake it up, and then you can keep the dressing. Oh, that's in there. a good idea. Nice. You know that one, there. Yeah. Um, second sponsor this week is Gamefly. Gamefly is a great way uh, for people who are not familiar with it of renting games. Games get sent out of you. So Gamefly is the largest online. Did I say games get sent out of you? <laughs> games get sent out to you. Games come out. Games come out of you. Games come out of you and get sent to everybody. No. Gamefly is the largest online video rental service and offers you a choice from over 6,000 new and classic titles wow. across all consoles and handsets. With plans starting at $15.95 a month, that's for nothing. So 12 times 16, which is that? A couple of hundred bucks a year, probably less. Uh, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. So absolutely brilliant way of getting games. Instead of going out and paying, how much is a game these days, Aaron? 50 euro, so $50, 50 I'd say. 50 bucks. It's instead like buying four games for the year instead, and instead you get to play as many as you want. Yeah, so Aaron, in his... Uh, infinite wisdom. Infinite wisdom, has said that instead of buying four games and having nothing but those four games to play with all year, you can sign up to Gamefly for the year and get four at a time and swap as many as you want non-stop all year. So all you want to do is go to gamefly.com forward slash foodmob, uh, use the discount, discount codes there, and you can get and even better deal than that. You didn't ask so. me what my favourite games were this week. Favourite games this week, Aaron? I got Madden, and I got Madden 11. And Don't you know care. what's in it? There's an a Old Spice swagger rating. Every player has their own Old Spice swagger Ooh, rating. Yeah, and it's just like pretty much their swagger. I don't know what that means. Like the dude in the, in the ad. Yeah, it's pretty much like who's like, you know, yeah, most like, confident. Like, wow. And, it's me and, they, and then they play the little... Do, 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 do. How's your swagger? Uh, it's up high. Is it? And they're up in the 90s. Big problem is you're not black. That's true. A lot more swagger if you're black. Definitely. I would say. And buff. And buff, yes. Um, anything else to talk about this week, guys? Very short show, but it was two quick tips to get you through the week. Mm -hmm. Word of wisdom from Lauren. Oh, oh I don't know. Perfect. Sorry. I've got nothing. Tom, any words of wisdom? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> so glad we brought Tom. Thank God the guys are there. <laughs> Full of wisdom. Thank Aaron, God. save the show. Any wisdom? Let me get the camera and I will ask I'm not you a chance. if there's any words. You're going to ask me a question. I'm sweating. You've got unedited 10 seconds to give us a word of wisdom to all the fans. Oh, wait, I just got to find one. <laughs> that's it. Thanks, Aaron. Take a look at that camera. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this week's show. We want to see loads of your photos. Actually, go to Flickr. Um, haven't been promoting that recently. There's 500 odd photos there of amazing food. Uh, go to Flickr. Uh, go to facebook.com forward slash foodmob. We want tons of likes there. Suggest it to your friends. Subscribe on YouTube. Support Manchester United. Yeah. Support Tyrone, which will mean very little to anybody. Uh, anything else you want plugged? No, I think you're pretty much... Aaron Goodliff on Twitter. Oh yeah, good Tom show. Fox on Twitter. Oh, there you go. Lauren, Maybe he can beat me in the uh, Twitter followers. Lauren Fisher. That's a race between me and Aaron. I, I like to think it already. Yeah. It's like, how can we get more race it? Okay. Race <laughs> how it. can we get more race it? Basically, those two, whoever's got the least followers next week, will have to down a glass full of uh, cracked eggs, Tabasco, and oil. Done. Whoever's got the least, you've got oh, about the same, yeah. don't you? Hmm? You have about the same? I'm on 183, he's on 214 or something. 214, take the challenge, don't worry. Fuck it, I'm in. There's hey, your fuck, challenge. You can just help him now instead of me. Uh, look, there's no. Where's, show me the terms and conditions. Are you serious? There we go, that's it for this week's show, guys. The race is on for next week, you know the challenge. Just cut all this out. Anyway, go on. <laughs> uh, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Have a good week, guys. Cheers.